Stop gender-based violence. Stop fighting with your partner. Zidzai kutaurirana. Fundani ukukulimisana. Musa rovana. Linga chayani. Musa kuvadzana. Linga limazana. Call us today on 577 for help. This message is brought to you by Say What in partnership with United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, and the Swedish Embassy in Zimbabwe. It is a Thursday, and uh, every Thursday we come your way with uh, Zim Papers radio broadcast simulcast. We are live on Star FM, sounding good all the time. Diamond FM and Nyami Nyami FM. This program is brought to us by Say What, with support from UNFPA and the Embassy of Sweden in Zimbabwe. And today we're talking about the life of a student during industrial attachment. We also want to know your experiences. Um, if you were or you have been on attachment before, if you are on attachment, what has your experience? Been? been like and uh, to help us with that conversation is Rufaro Chidodo um, she is a call center advisor hey Rufaro good morning good morning Vikendi. and uh, also joining us is Carlton Mapaka an SRHR defender hey Carl good morning hey, good morning Vikendi. how are you I am good thank you let me start with you Rufaro tell us about your experience at work as an intern how has that experience been all right so from the way I saw it, right, uh, being an intern is a process. All right, so being an intern is a process of learning, and also you have to be exposed to a lot of things that happens in the corporate world. So me being at the call center and as an intern, I got exposed to uh, sexual and reproductive health rights uh, issues, and also I was able to have uh, that capability of being a problem solver for instance i have cases of um that needs my immediate attention so i know how to be a problem solver i know how to manage uh to have like quick response and action also for you it was fruitful it was fruitful it was or quite a good experience wonderful and we also want to hear zero seven seven five eight nine seven eight nine seven. um how was your experience like Carlton? What form of abuse or challenges um, are young people or students facing during attachment? Because Zuriko and Zuruitiko, which are many more different forms of abuse, Zavaruku Sangana Nadzu, Momo Vinda, or attachment during their the, the, um, um, studies. Okay, uh, thank you for the question, Vikendi. Uh, so I can say, Kuti, from how we have seen it and the people that we have engaged with, is find out, Kuti. There are sexual harassment problems that we are facing during attachments. There's also the thing of physical abuse, whereby uh, now the system is slowly taking students on attachment to be slaves instead of them to be learning. So uh, those are the kind of problems that we face. But mostly physical abuse is one problem that people are complaining of and then the other problem of sexual harassment. Okay, what it to be slaves and not learning? Uh, from what I've seen and what I've had, uh, you find Kuti, instead of me going Kubasa for attachment to gain experience, I end up taking the duties of permanent workers already and then Akwita pressure Pandiri. So that's kind of abuse. Yeah, Kuti, we are now being taken as slaves for attachment. Instead of you going for experiment, uh, for actual experience, you're ending up working with like uh, the person who is supposed to be doing the actual work that others are doing, and then you find out with my permanent workers, they are now relaxed, and everything else is now being done by students on attachment. Okay, and papa sexual abuse, papa Carlton, um, my boss here, they cannot remember me. We are not going to now. We are not going to be serious. Oh, Zuri Kwese, because even Pakutanga to an attachment, yeah, so you find that you can go through the process here, sexual harassment, you mm. to an that attachment. And then maybe during the course of the attachment, my co-workers, they are also doing the sexual harassment to you. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, those who are listening, please would want to hear your experience as well. Kuti Magambo Indo, Pa attachment, Zuri Se, Zurutaro, Nakauto, Narufaro, Zuri Kwere, and um, did you also experience that, which is quite, quite sad, hey? Rufaro, as a call center advisor and uh, also as a student um, on attachment who has colleagues and friends, how often are you hearing stories of abuse at workspaces Nema, through your interactions and also your personal um, lived experience? All right, that's fine. So we have heard of many cases pertaining to sexual gender-based violence. 
But the issue is that people, they don't want to speak out about them. Why? It's because we feel like we will be judged. Uh, what are my workmates going to talk about me? Uh, society, stigmatization. How am I going to find myself when I speak out about, uh, uh, probably my supervisor is abusing me in a way that I'm not understanding. Even because per issue I abuse, uh, Vikendi, it's not about like sexual gender based violence, also. We will talk about emotional abuse. Like, I'm being sexually abused, it will go to my emotions, my psychology, everything. I won't be like social functioning. So, basically, I feel like uh, the cases are there, and I'm not told where my cases are kind of, but the fakes here, Kutus Renisho, we are afraid to speak out about them. You won't like have questions or cases. We're also live, by the way, on Facebook, uh, on the Strive and Facebook page, on the Say What Facebook page. And my attachment was good. The company wanted to hire me permanently. Sadly, uh, Madam Bosvay said, and because I'm uh, in a male-dominated field, so it happened. Kuti, I was the only girl. Saka my boss waka tika zero. And uh, another person says um, attachment is a test of character and a way of finding out how you adapt to pressure. It's slavery is just subjecting you to so much um, to see how you approach the situations. Carlton, do you agree? Kwa is slavery yo yo. And uh, I'm what he is referring to. Can in no way be equated to slavery? Kwa i agusku overweka. Would you want to respond? Uh, actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. There are rules to attachment that I know of, whereby you need to treat uh, the internship as educational experience. Okay. And, and so it it's also, stipulated. Yeah. Mm. So we, we need to benefit the intern more than the company. That's why I'm saying that it then looks as if it's a slavery thing. Kuti, inini, instead of me gaining uh, like the experience that I'm supposed to get, if I wake under pressure, that pressure that we are referring to, whereby everything is th- being thrown to me, there is no way that I can say I'm going to benefit experience. But I'm now doing things to benefit what the company. But I'm saying that uh, it looks as if students are now being taken for slavery. Got a message here saying I've experienced um, that kind of situation where permanent workers relax and all, um, and you do all the work that has nothing to do with your career. Uh, and uh, my students ask you to marry, pay, so they end up doing the mudjo local attachment to Coco, never pay or marry. Carlton, as an SRHR defender, what do you think should be done to create safe spaces for students at work, um, spaces during attachment? Uh, I think kuti, this case, like any the, I think the comment that you just said now of students being we need to get that uh incentive yekuti yes because it's going to be a pressure yekuti you need money for transport you need money for lunch you need because i'm not uh it's not certain kuti every company you're going to get lunch so how we end up being like manipulated kuti i'm just going to do what is there for me to get money accept that abuse is because they don't have something so we need to get that incentive i'm sure i tombo vapor that incentive and people need to look at it and get that incentive for the students and also the universities when they come for my supervisions i they also need to make sure that they're not just supervising on how i'm doing the work but then they need to also know how my mental health is mm like during that course and how i'm being treated at that workplace because usually they just come and then they observe kuti wa papi ni experiment ya kind out to say no one but my mental health who is going to care about it how i'm being treated the sexual harassment repeat kambasa who is going to ask about it also my student uh the student boards that we have they need to make sure that we focus on that to see kuti the well-being of a student on attachment is well upheld that makes a lot of sense. Thank you so much for that. If you're just tuning in, it is uh, a program brought to us by Say What um, with support from the Embassy of Sweden in Zimbabwe and UNFPA. And we're talking about the life of a student during industrial attachment. And I would also want to hear uh, from you, from your own lived experience, how was it like? Do you agree uh, with what's being said in the studio uh, by Rufaro Chidodo and uh, Carlton Mafaka from their also uh, personal experiences? Uh, Anzi... 
interesting input. Um, I got name and shame, and I'm a guy, so I might face sexual harassment, but I don't know how I've been offended because it's not really talked about. So please educate us on boundaries. Kuti ma boundaries achona nde api. How do you know kuti muno apfurira, um, Carlton? Uh, okay. Uh, kuti muno apfurira des. As for sexual harassment, we need to look at kuti those mere comments that you know it about someone. Be it a body, can a anything structure moon. At times, uh, zinus no open the moon. You might not know kuti muno aita say a open the ganezuns or whatever. But if I tell you kuti zawaita is yes, you're commenting Japanese scan or comment the body. Ake, she tells you good, I don't like it. Ukarambo chizu ita yato sexual harassment because already akuza out I don't like it. So I think that's how you can know kuti ababanda fully. And actually, I think it's just muma norms a moon. You just don't need in as much as we have freedom of expression. As this is in the Utu Nongo Fanango Jaira quit, can I tip a basa? Pabasa is a professional place. You should mind whatever you say about someone or the comments that you give to someone. 0775897897. I guess this takes me to the next question, you know, of how it should also be, you know, set in stone. Uh, what kind of legislation? should be put in place to protect students at workplaces um okay uh, i think we have the educational act it talks about how a student should operate when we now go for this un industrial attachment we also have the sexual harassment policy i'm glad that the zimbabwe our government has already passed this legislation whereby we have a sexual harassment policy so I urge companies to employ that uh, sexual harassment policy into their working structures so that we know there are certain experiences or certain actions that are prescribed by the sexual harassment policy to say that this is a sexual harassment action. So we need to have those sexual harassment policies in the workplaces to be upheld so that uh, we, I think that's the legislation that we can work with in terms of this industrial attachment. Got a message here saying uh, being treated like a permanent worker is very good training. Uh, it's not abuse, my students. Shandai, please. And uh, Rufaro, if you can come in, your thoughts on that. All right, that's fine. Uh, so, you need to come uh, on that, on like my issues, like Hadaro, right? Um, you feel like uh, you're overdoing it, which is good experience, yes. But um, they should be like that platform. Like, okay, as a student, uh, am I really learning? Because so they should be like a platform. You could say, in as much as I'm getting all this, am I learning? What am I getting out of it? Mm. Got a message is saying the issue of sexual harassment is true. And I remember when I did my attachment, uh, my attachment supervisor gave me an ultimatum. You could either sleep with me or you lose your attachment after it made an issue out of nothing. So it was his word or mine. Luckily, I was done with the months that the college institute required. So I chose the hard way, but I ended up not being fired. I think Vaganyara because of the rejection. I later realized um, that he had done that. He has done that to so many. And uh, yeah. Oh my God! It's just we are not paid anything. We are forced to sign documents. You go to a Panamaria or no Piwa, even a transport, and we work all the time too. There is nothing we can do about it. Document. Um, it's either you know sign this or you leave. You can't complain because it's part of your qualifications. You only have one option: endurance. Sakavanwarukuya. Uh, and the learning is not a punishment. There should be room for free time, not work overload. Oh my God! What is being said is true. Ndagandiri pa attachment, and I faced a lot of a lot. But where do you report to uh, some uh, being taken as minors. Let's say my boss is proposing, then I report one the Chingova Ramba. If you don't want, then after the boss will be saying, I can't teach you um, an extra mile Wakandi Ramba. So, Rufaro, what is your message to your fellow students who might be facing abuse in different work settings and how can say what a system because all right. So, in any my message to my fellow colleagues is that speak out. It's okay to say 
quote is Jean Israel like and being abused. Any form of abuse, you have to speak it out. Uh, be it Kune Human Resource Department, be it Munema Psychologist at a public company, you have to speak out. That's the only way you can get out of it. And also, as say what, we have our toll free number 577, where you can call us. It's 24 7. We give you psychosocial support, we give you tele counseling because some people they might feel like a pananon we see sad, no one will ever understand me. But he, as our call center is it designed in my students, I'm also a student who's also there. So you can come to us and then we communicate about these things so that we pave way because we really want to try to minimize my issues of suicidal thoughts or thinking because you are alone in this. Probably other people that are also facing that thing. So it's okay to us to speak out. It's okay to go kuna echarova explain that ah, this is what's happening to me without facing kutishonjo. Ah, probably I'm going to be judged or she chance to show in a girl child. So maybe dinda da 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 she tanga. You know that kind of thing. So speaking out that is like the encouragement words that I'm going to tell my fellow colleagues about. Thank you, Rufaro. I uh, got a message here saying, morning, those students on attachment in industries, for example, um, are now seen as cheap labor. Instead of learning, they are the ones doing the hard labor. Just ne, ne, uh, what you're doing in school. Oh my God, sometimes desperation is a good moon. Ango accept as we say, attachment. You don't have to do everything that a company does because you are on attachment. There has to be a beginning and an end to your duties. But Zurunzi, Vaninga, Kutu, Chicago, Kutunozu, Zingwa. Um, Carlton, your parting words before I let you guys go. Okay. Uh, Actually, I would advise uh, maybe the legislation needs to be tightened up so that we, when we complain about these issues, they need to be taken serious. Because like what people have been saying, you can even report that there's no one in or there's no one in any situations or we we'll talk. That person is never taken into consideration. They need to be maybe arrested. If a person harasses someone, Pabasa, you need to take action because he... How do I wake Mangwana knowing that I reported this person and then nothing was done? And also to my fellow colleagues, especially to the girls, uh, we need to handle ourselves with care because sometimes maybe the two ya kumabasa or just letting ourselves free kumunuese is how they then get the license to penetrate and then maybe sexual harassment. So we need to handle ourselves with care. Rufaro. All right. So what I want to tell my fellow colleagues is we should be aware or we should have that analysis here this is abuse um this is not abuse because i'm being abused i'm being emotionally abused um you never go anywhere and you, you might be abused not knowingly because i was put as a good abuse here so all i can say is just be aware just be Someone who you are there to scrutinize, could teach Kumbonya so it's a panapa, auntie. Like, just be there for yourself, just protect yourself, but above all, let's learn to speak out about everything, no matter how petty it is. It's okay, Kutara would ah, Daona Chinchakada is so, or how am I going to fix it? Or like, is it normal, Shanjandir Kufisa? That's the only way out that you can get help. Thank you so much, Rufaro Chidodo, call center advisor, and Carlton Mapaka, SRHR defender. Uh, lady, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. We're talking about the life of a student during industrial attachment. Uh, Zim Papers Radio Broadcast Simulcast. We're also live on Facebook. This program brought to us by Say What with support from the Embassy of Sweden in Zimbabwe and UNFPA. I am V Candy, and we do this again next week, same time. Stop gender-based violence.